Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osric501, and today I want to do another Atlas update patch notes video. Um, and before I start this video, I just want to talk about a little bit um, what's going on kind of with my Atlas videos. So if you guys didn't see my latest video, I'm not going to be playing on official Atlas servers um, anymore for the time being. I will be renting a server so I can still do um, videos, do mod reviews, do guides, do builds, all that type of stuff um, for videos. But I don't have my server yet. I'm still looking at who I want to rent the server from. So after that, so after I get that rented and all that sorted out, I can start doing, you know, guides on, you know, build guides for ships, build guides for um, defenses and base defenses, um, you know, just overall guides in the game, mod reviews I can do, you know, setting up private servers once I get more familiar with the settings and all that type of stuff. And just all that type of stuff um, that kind of goes with, unofficial servers and just overall with the game but until then it's just going to be patch notes and anything else that kind of comes up that i want to talk about about the game which most likely will just be patch notes for now so first off we have some swans on here fix some server startup crashes always good no one likes crashing why in the amount of networking info the server can send to clients and server optimizations basically just server optimizations and kind of crash fixes it's basically all that is down there then we have a bigger update it's not even a major version, even though it seems to be a major version. Um, and I want to do this video. I was going to wait, but the ETA was later at night, like 11 hours ago. They tweeted about this one and they've added stuff pretty recently. Um, so I'd assume this is probably what's going to be um, ever. This is everything that's going to be in the patch because it's not a major version. Adding more stuff, it kind of is going into a major version. But there's some pretty big changes in this. So explosive barrels will now be undergoing some change with this patch. Please note that they're still in the process and re have receiving their redesign, but this puts them close to it. So basically this is just more changes um, and they're going to be retroactively doing it. What it sounds like now, instead of just redesigning it fully while band-aiding it. Um, and some of these changes are pretty good. I want to get your guys' opinion on this, especially people who are still playing on official PVP servers and um you know how you guys kind of see the balance and going forward with these so limited to one carryable stack per person stack size will remain at 10. so basically you can carry 10 explosive barrels on your person and that's it you can't carry anymore and that will be 600 weight currently which is still a lot of weight you still have to go a lot into weight to get that much weight um so i think that's i think that's okay um I don't know if anyone's going to be carrying more than 10 of those, really. I don't know if there was some super, like, meta thing where people were carrying around, like, 100 barrels or something. Um, I guess this is just kind of a change to go forward because as people get more max levels, they'll get overall more weight and then be able to carry more. So that could be an issue, but it kind of really isn't with the other changes at the bottom. So it kind of just seems like almost like a double authentication almost like version for this just kind of doubling the like safeguards kind of i guess you will not be able to store them in creature inventories however legacy ones will remain there so you can't put them in um inventories of creatures this i'll tell you this this will make raiding if you raid a big base of people who have a ton of barrels this will be annoying to travel them all to get them all back to your ship or if you want to loot them because you're just going to have people carrying 10 at a time back to ships um, that's probably only if you're writing really big bases because people don't really keep, you know, hundreds of these things around or something. People don't usually keep a lot of these around. They usually use them right when they use or right when they make them. Um, and keeping, and the ones in legacy, which basically, if you have any creatures right now, there's, they'll stay there until they're removed. I don't see any big exploits with people like putting hundreds on creatures or anything like that. There will be. They will be able to be placed near enemy structures and water without needing a claim flag, but not on both themselves. So basically, you'll still be able to use them against structures as like much as you want to raid on land. You'll be able to place them um, by water um, without needing a claim flag. So you'll be able to place them by the ships. Um, like if they're close enough to land is what I'm getting for this. They'll be able to be placed near enemy structures and water without needing a claim flag. So they'll be able to place near water. Um, so if ships are close enough to land, you'll be able to still use them on ships, um, which will probably make people not park ships closer to land if they can still anchor them. 
um, but not boats on themselves. So I'm wondering if they're just not going to have that anymore, which would kind of make sense, especially with some of the more options they're giving down in this um, down later in the patch. You will not be able to equip them onto your hotbar. They must be placed from within your inventory. So this is one that when I was reading, I was like, why would they do this? But it kind of makes sense, and I kind of think this is a good change. So basically, before, you could just carry these in your hotbar and place them down super quickly and just set them off really quickly while running around. Um, basically making... This is probably also a big change to why they didn't want them to be able to be placed on ships with that being able to be done, because people could just suicide with them, basically. Place all the ones they have down and then suicide them, blow them all up, um, and quickly place a bunch down. But now you have to stop place them so they're going to be much more used as um you know kind of setup raids and you know you're going to need people defending you when you place them because you have to stop getting your inventory place them get out of your inventory and then set them off so much slower i kind of i kind of like that with these massive barrels as they're not like super quick um you know just throw out explosive which also what they're changing at the bottom um kind of helps with that a little bit there will be a restriction on how many can be put down at a time, um, down at a time within a certain radius. So basically how many you can have placed in a certain radius, which is good. Um, you know, if you can just place as many as you want, um, it can cause some really big issues with lag, with server performance, crashing servers, crashing players, all that type of stuff. And it also is an issue with um, if people just kind of try to stealth raid people and put dozens and dozens down at like different parts of your base. Um, you know, you could just blow up half a base without anyone having a chance to counterplay that. So now you have a certain amount. We don't know how many there are. They, it could still be a ton in a certain radius. Probably not. I would assume probably 10 would be a good guess in a certain radius. Um, and it'd probably be a decent-ish radius. Not super big. Um, but probably so you can only do like so you can't just blow a massive hole in one wall and then your base is completely broken into with zero counterplay. Um, so that I think is still a decent change as well. Reduce explosive barrel damage by approximately 20% and reduce explosive barrel, explosive radius by approximately 20%. So the basically radius, what they hurt is reduced by 20% and the overall damage is reduced by 20%. Now, I think this is good because since they reduced stone and made stone super, um, weak against like everything, basically, um, explosive barrels are ridiculously good against them. They're still super good against wood and stuff. They still do a ton of damage against wood, um, specifically ships and stuff like that. Ship planks, all that type of stuff. They just still do a ridiculous amount of damage. They'll still do a ridiculous amount of damage to players if they get hit by them. Um, so it's nice that they're specifically targeting, you know, explosives and stuff like that to reduce them down instead of just doing, you know, the building resources now super strong against them because um this is more targeted nerfs and balance changes because if these if barrels are under two now they can just up the percentage a bit more and it's much easier in my opinion to balance stuff just going up and down by balancing stuff specifically instead of just balancing you know overall explosives or overall structures stuff like that diving suit will make wild underwater creatures ignore you it must you aggro unless you aggress upon them this is very good so you can actually go down to the depths um you know gather resources if you want um salvage ships without getting attacked by a hundred sharks and a hundred mantas all the time that you know chunk your health even if you're in good armor so that's good alcohol will no longer spoil this is pretty good alcohol kind of doesn't spoil in real life um you know kind of but this will also be a pretty big thing in pvp now you're going to see people having ale on them a lot um and different alcohols a lot because specifically ale if you haven't gotten these before you can get them from float sams which is where i've gotten them and then we had some cooks actually craft them this is basically beer from arc it gives you it makes you do increased damage it makes you take less damage and the only thing and that's for 1800 seconds you can't stack them and the only thing that happens is at least if you drink one, you get like 30 seconds of blurriness, and then after that, you're good for a while. So though, expect alcohol to be used a lot in PvP now. And in PvP, actually. PvP players are definitely going to be wanting to use, wanting to use this. People are going to be carrying alcohol on them constantly in this game now. 
Cooking resources spoil the time increased to 10 hours, so that's good. Cooking recipes now spoil less, unless I'm reading this completely wrong or they, I guess, typed it out wrong, um, which is always good. You know, cooking, if you if you actually spec into cooking and are cooking stuff, it should take a long time to spoil because you, you know, got up all the resources, you did all this, you went in the skill. It should take a while for the spoil. Spoiling time, increased bonus on preserving back has been increased, so that's really good. That stuff is preserved more in spoiling bags or preserving bags, not spoiling bags. That would be the complete opposite, um, which is really good. Now, I think this game actually had um, kind of needed it more because there's not a higher tier thing. Like in Ark, there was the preserving bins, and then there was refrigerators that did a lot more than preserving bins. And there's only one tier of that in this game, really there's kind of two tiers there's you know larders and stuff like that below that do some but preserving bags are basically basically like the thing specifically built for an only one tier so essentially they're increasing it more um increased grenade damage approximately by approximately 50 percent also with this prever preserving bag this is kind of reducing the hardcore just slightly in the game for some aspects which is kind of what they're going for because so i think that's that was a big issue with me that even though i play games a ton i already have hundreds of hours in this game um the hardcore of this game just kind of made it feel like a chore for a ton of different things and it's glad that they're slowly reducing that and hopefully with the march update it'll be a lot more increased grenade damage by approximately 50 percent pretty big we'll talk about that in a second decreased crafting cost of grenades by 20 percent increased cannon collision and obstruction check so the cannon collision um if you don't know if you place a half wall say if you're building a base right say if you do a four by four if one direction you have a half wall, you can stick a tur or like a medium cannon barrel through it. I don't exactly know large barrels, but medium cannon bar barrel through it and shoot correctly. And, and you can have a ceiling on top and it won't hit anything. So you're super protected. Um, I'm wondering if it will affect that at all. So that will need some testing. But then the grenade damage increase and the cost reduction. So basically what this is doing, grenades pretty much by most people weren't really useful maybe against players or against ships kind of but they really weren't useful and grenades still aren't going to do a ridiculous amount of damage against stone even with this but it makes them cheaper and do more damage so it, it's giving more options because even though you can throw tons of grenades and the only counterplay is to get out of the way Grenades do a larger radius. People are going to want to um, carry them more in PvP because they'll be better against players, better against everything, better against ship structures. Um, you know, they'll be a bit better for doing that last bit of damage you need to get in a stone base. Um, you'll be able to use them on ships as another way, as another avenue to um, PvP on ships or hurt ships while you're on them without having these sorts of barrels that you can't use anymore. Um, they'll be good against players and they'll be good against. You know, destroying a lot of stuff in bases. Say if there's a bunch of um, like storage containers in a base you need to destroy, you can use grenades more often, and just giving you more avenues, kind of bring um, explosive more in line to give you more avenues um, to play the game in whatever way you want, instead of just having some made of this only explosive barrels and nobody uses grenades, which is kind of how it was going. And I definitely think it's good to make. Kind of everything in game or at least a lot of the stuff in game viable and balanced so they do have some use which is always good so everyone's just not doing the same thing and if you don't do that same thing you know you're at a disadvantage so everyone can have their way to play and you know still have it be somewhat in line with each other and balance so that's pretty much all the patch notes for now if there's more patch notes for this patch i don't think there will be i'll do that in whatever the next update video is i try to make these videos um i try to wait till they have a decent amount so i can you know do a video that isn't a couple minutes long so we can go over a bunch of stuff um so you know i'm not putting out a video every you know two times a day or something with small updates but anyway subscribe if you want to see more alice content subscribe if you want to see more apex legend content which i will be doing some of i'll still be doing atlas videos so don't worry about that that's just if you want to see some apex legends content as well um leave a comment down below what you think about Atlas as a whole what you think about these patch notes what you think about um you know kind of the direction they're going in with these patch notes i think they're going in a better direction especially a better direction than the stone structure changes um like the video if you like it and thanks for watching